So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So here I will provide you a very important data for all the students of JEE Mains examination of 2022. That is the number of unique student category wise, male, female, everything I will be discussing here. The original data is available for phase 1 only and as you also know phase 1 was having more number of students. Now there is very low number of students. So it will have a very nominal effect in the number of unique students. So I will be providing you the complete information here. What can be the number of unique students for general category EWS, OB CSC, ST and PWD, male, female, both I will be discussing here. I have already provided the percentile versus your category rank updated data after the decrease in number of strength. As you all know, total number of strength that, that appeared in phase 1 was 7,70,000 and in this exam that is uh, that is session 2, there was 6,29,000 strength who registered for the examination but only I think 5,60,000 or 70,000 or even 5,80,000 strength can appear in the examination but there are some new strength who have registered for the first time so they will increase the number of unique strength so I will try to discuss for general category there was 3,19,000 strength who appeared in the examination in the in the phase one but now as there will be some new strength so you can expect it will be around 3,30,000 or 3,40,000 that is unique number of strength from general category and overall also I will be talking about but before going forward for this video I would like to inform you at the time of counseling process I will be guiding you completely so if you want you can contact me after you get, get the rank so that you will get the best out of your rank and I will be guiding you completely and the unique feature of my guidance is that I will be available for you all the time from 10 a.m. up to midnight each day and once you until you get into the college I will be guiding you to get the best out of your rank and it is not only for Jose and CSEF but for other counseling also whatever you will do based on your J mains rank and for and based on other entrance exams and rank whatever you have done this year of course you are having the multiple options so what should be the best I will be doing the comparison and you will be able to join the best college and there is a nominal charge for that so if you want you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number there is a nominal charge charge for that so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box and please keep in your mind there is a nominal charge for that so if you want to ask just one question please try to ask in the comment section uh, if you want to if you want to get the complete guidance then only try to use the whatsapp or insta id so that i will be guiding you completely and once you register nothing to worry i will be available for you all the time so now let's continue this video that is the total number of unique student first of all I would like to talk that is for general already I have discussed for other category also I will discuss soon but for uh, the total number of unique student based on that you will be getting the CRL rank I, uh, that, that is 7,70,000 student appeared in phase 1 and now 5,60 or 5,70,000 student will appear. So overall unique student that is number of unique student will be around 8 lakh or 8.2 lakh and based on that already I have discussed the percentile versus your category rank that is CRL rank, OBC rank, EWS rank, SC, ST, PWD everything I have discussed. So now if you talk about the OBC category then OBC there is 2,75,000 student who appeared in session 1 so almost around 3 lakh a student you can expect there will be that is the unique number of a student and for general I said 3 lakh 30 or 40,000 it can be around 3 lakh 50,000 also that is unique number of a student and now if you talk about the EWS category 74,000 a student have appeared so it can be around around 85 or 90,000 a student that will be unique number of a student uh, after the both uh, after both the session of JMS examination for SC it is 71 as of now as of now that is phase one it will be around 80,000 that is number of unique strength and uh, for ST it is 26,000 so it can be around 30,000 and for PWD it is 2078 only so it will be hardly it will go up to 2400 or uh, you can say 2500 also it can be but the chances is more that it will be around 2300 only this year because number of a strand is very low who have appeared in phase 1. So this was all about the complete information about the unique number of a strand for each category and now let's talk about the male and female difference. So for general category male candidate is 2,25 and female is 94 and that is uh, as of now phase 1. It, there will be a little bit increment as I have already discussed what can be the increment after the phase 2 and for EWS it is 53 and 20,000 that is more number of a strand from male candidate. It is engineering so obviously there will be more number of male candidate. And for OBC male 196,000 for female 80,000 and for SC it is 52,000 male and S, uh, female tw around 20,000 and for ST it is uh, 7200 for female and 19,000 for male candidate and for PWD 
सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड अराउंड फोर मेल कैंडिडेट एंड अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड फॉर फीमेल कैंडिडेट सो होप यू गेट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू सो प्लीज ट्राइड टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो एट आई विल ऑल्सो गेट सम सपोर्ट फ्रॉम योर साइड एंड आई विल कंटिन्यू टू प्रोवाइड यू ऑल द अपडेट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन एट द राइट टाइम सो एट यू विल एबल टू जॉइन द बेस्ट कॉलेज बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर एंड आई होप यू ऑल विल एबल टू जॉइन द बेस्ट कॉलेज एट इज एन आई टी ट्रिपल आई टी जी एफ आई आई टी एज वेल बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर थैंक्स